Hello everyone, my name is Mohammed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio ALM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. In this video, to continue on our series, we are going to see how to run JavaScript, Jasmine JavaScript unit testing from Visual Studio Command Line Runner and Grunt. So, in the previous video, we saw how to run that from the command line. And in this video, we are going to do the same running the, the Jasmine unit testing, uh, including uh, or using the grunt file settings or configuration and Phantom JS headless browser unit testing. But in this time, we are going to install extension, which add uh, a functionality to run the command line within Visual Studio. So we don't need to go for uh, the command line, but we run the command line embedded in the Visual Studio. So we will see that in this video. So let's see that. So what I'm going to install is a task runner. So I go here extension and update. Let's see task runner. So here is the command task run. This is what I want to install. So once I install that, I will close Visual Studio so I can install this extension. Once I close Visual Studio, it will start installing the extension. Let me bend that to the taskbar. Waiting for the extension to be installed, which is the command task runner. The main idea of the command task runner is an extension to the Visual Studio, which make me able to run some command line inside the context of the Visual Studio, inside the IDE itself. It's very, very nice extension. So instead of going for the command line, it will just have like embedded command line inside the Visual Studio. This is the main idea of uh, Task Runner. So let me load the project inside the repo. Yes, that's it. So now I open the project and let's open the task runner for the first time. So it is window. Other windows. Task runner explorer. And that's it. So as we can see, because I have the grunt file, because this extension can understand many of the task runner and PowerShell, many, many, many things. So it read here the grunt file, file here, and then I can see that. By the way, if I have a problem here, let's say, or maybe if I have something wrong here, if I save that, this will not display any task runner because it couldn't interpret this information so what i need here is to have a correct configuration when i save this configuration and it's correct usually it will display here so we can see the here i have the jasmine task one so i can click here and click run and then here i can see the task runner to run this task And we can see it's successfully and running. Also, I can ha have option like before build, after build. So this will be adding that to 
automatic here in my local like if I want to run the, the, the test after building the application on all of that also here again this is just for grunt files I can have as many as many gulb I have for example PowerShell will be loaded inside another section and so on so I have many as uh, as many tasks inside each technology here so it's a very very nice extension to to have a command runner inside embedded inside the visual studio at the end i would like to thank you for watching this video please if you have any question or you would like to to know anything don't hesitate to contact me on my blog muhammadradwan.com you can also click on the links that will appear on the screen which is including the devops guide which is published on the technet this guide includes basic principles about devops for people that want to get more familiar about uh, the high level of devops you can also click on the the related video which is usually is could adding more information for the current video which is appear now on the screen thank you